online. I think I've repaired him. Run scan. Acquire data. I hope there is data. My name is Jonathan. What's he doing? It looks like he's assembling a fossil model. Well, it's possible that he was programmed to be an expert on dinosaur bone structure. An android dinosaur expert, huh? I wasn't able to get him completely back online, though. What do you mean? Is he still all messed up? A little. I did the best I could with him, but some of his systems are more advanced than what current Earth technology could have produced. So, like he came from outer space? Not necessarily, but definitely some futuristic technology. From, from the, the future? future? Say, kids, didn't you say the Alpha Gang's base had some futuristic-looking stuff? Yeah, and they had an android there, too, named Helga. Seems to me that Jonathan was built by the Alpha Gang. But if this android is part of the Alpha Gang, too, then why did he save me and Rex? He threw himself right in front of that fire move! That's true! <laughs> I don't know what his relationship is with the Alpha Gang, but it's definitely got something to do with dinosaurs. Hey, little guy! Come on up here! You're a chump, aren't you? <laughs> Whoa, look at that! His head? It turned upside down. What's this? I have no idea where I am. Or who all of you are. My name is Max. And I'm Zoe, so do you remember your name? I am Jonathan. Nice to meet you. But surely you must already know that since one of you is my creator. No, not one of us. I will run a scan to determine which of you, uh, matches my parameters. How odd. My memory seems to have been partially erased. Identity confirmed. Huh? Who, me? Dr. Ancient. No! Uh, uh, my name is Rex Owen. Who's Dr. Ancient? Uh, I don't know. But you just called me that name, so you must know who he is. I have no recollection of having said that. You must be mistaken. You don't remember what you just said? Oh boy, there's been some major damage to his memory. So Jonathan, is that your real face or is the other one? Whatever are you referring to? Your head just turned upside down? Well, that explains the post-nasal trip. <laughs> What you wanna be, yeah. Make your move, come on and make your move. Dinosaur King is your destiny, yeah. Make your move, come on and make your move. Control the cards right in your hands. Jurassic Giants at your command. D, -d, 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 D team. Watch out, here we go. Prehistoric dinosaurs aren't extinct anymore. See them fight, hear a roar. Watch out, cause they're right next door. The past is in the present. Time been twisted upside down. These fossils are colossal. Only one can wear the crown. Dinosaur King is what you want to be, yeah. Make your move, come on and make your move. Dinosaur King is your destiny, yeah. Make your move, come on and make your move. Full scheme ahead. The attack was effective, but it completely drained all of Terry's energy. It doesn't matter how powerful a move is if it leaves the dinosaur unable to perform. I'll have to devise a shield that will protect the dinosaur's energy while he's using it. Hmm? Were you watching? What was that move you were using? It looked like you were hurting Terry! It's a brand new move. But don't worry about Terry, he just needs a little rest now. There's a new move? Grandpa hasn't talked about it. Yes, well, the doctor hasn't been able to work very much since his back injury. So I thought it would be nice if I developed a new move for him. Uh, 
Now, it's important that nothing interrupts my work until it's done, Laura. So you can't tell anyone what you just saw. If you do, the surprise could make the doctor's back pain even worse. I know you wouldn't want that to happen. If you really care about your grandpa, you won't tell anyone about this. Not even your brother. What's wrong with Terry? I think he's sick. Can you help me take him to the hospital? Really? Maybe we should go ask Grandpa about it first. No, don't! We can't tell Grandpa about this. Why not? Because he'll just get all worried and then his backache will get bad again. Hmm? Huh? Please, Rod, just help me take Terry to the animal hospital, okay? All right. We'll take him to that girl Zoe's father. He knows dinosaurs, so I guess that's the best place to go. All right. I think I found something. Let's get it to the lab. Yes, Dr. Owen. What's the emergency? Well, suddenly I'm getting reports of these robot raiders tearing apart fossil excavation sites all over the world. What do they want? They seem to be looking for something. Maybe they were sent to look for more cards. But I thought all the dinosaur cards had already been found. What else could they be looking for? <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt, but perhaps you could use a break. Is this the android you told me about? Yes, his memory's been damaged, but he sure makes a good cup of tea. Yes? Oh, hello, Dad. What? Who's there? Will he be okay? This dinosaur is exhausted to the point of collapse. What on earth were you having him do? Oh, I didn't have him do anything. I just found him like this. Laura, I thought you said he was sick. It's okay, Laura. If you want me to help Terry, you're going to have to tell me exactly what happened to him. So what was it that made him so tired? Well, um... Hey! What are you doing here? Pardon me! Tea, anyone? Tell me what's wrong with Terry. But Seth made me promise not to tell you. What does he have to do with it? He said that something bad would happen to Grandpa if I told anyone. Seth told you that? Hey, what are you guys talking about? What's going on? Who is this Seth person? He's one of the Alpha Gang. I'm just helping them. He's the one re-engineering dinosaur DNA. I always felt like he was the worst villain of them all in the Alpha Gang. The worst villain? <laughs> the worst villain! So did Seth do something bad to Terry? He said it was just a new move he was working on. What kind of a move? I'm afraid that Grandpa's gonna get hurt! Huh? Look! It's Jonathan! <laughs> it's a flawless Tyrannosaurus skeleton. And its DNA is in good shape as well. Good work, droid. Hmm? Hey, Seth. Dr. Z wants to see you now. You have not been studying enough! Just flunk us then and get it over with. You'd like that, wouldn't you? No, there will be no flunking. If you do not study, then you will get no dinner. Understood? Understood. There will be an essay due when I get back. So get cracking! <sighs> I don't think I can take another day of this. Can't you just reprogram her to mellow out? You were the one who built her in the first place. She was a do-it-yourself android kit I ordered online. I bolted her together, but I have no idea how her brain works. Yeah, I've seen those kits where you can custom order what you want in all different shapes, sizes, and colors, right? Oh, yellow is pretty, too. Looking back... Choosing a cook with a nuclear temper and built like a bulldozer might not have been the wisest choice. Especially now that she's gone haywire and no one but the company that designed her could ever fix a hopelessly scrambled brain! Are you saying she's going to stay like this forever? Don't worry. I think a good 2,000 volt shock will return her to normal. Normal? That's a good one. <gasps> I found Seth for you, Dr. Z. Oh. Hello! 
Hello, Seth. Do you know where my grandkids and Terry have gone off to? No idea. Well, they're missing, and on top of that, the Alpha Scanner suddenly isn't allowing communication. Why is that? I depend on you to keep things running smoothly around here when I'm injured, but now things are breaking down and my grandkids are gone! I'm sure Rod and Laura are just playing somewhere on the island, sir. Yes, yeah, yeah, you're probably right. But I have some good news for you, Doctor. The propulsion device on level two has passed its preliminary test. What? Really? Yes, sir. That's big! Why didn't you say so? My apologies, Doctor, but I wanted to do some more simulations first and report to you after I was 100% sure. So far, we have a 98% success rate. Good enough! Let's run it up to full power immediately! What huh? now? An intruder with one of our jets! No! Not possible! Ooh. Intruder! 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 How did Jonathan find his way here? How do we battle him? If we're lucky, his power is low. We're not lucky! Oh, well, hello, Jonathan. Uh, how have you been? Can I help you with something? I have come here for Seth. Where is Seth? Get him, you three! Don't take him down! What? what? All right, then, fine. Some Terrian will have the dinosaur take him down! We don't know where Terry is, remember? Then use find your tank or something else! Throw books at him! Do something! <laughs> I'd hate to resort to using force, so please hand over your villain, Seth. I happen to love resorting to using force, so take this! Alpha Slash! <laughs> Rod, you're great at this. Yeah, maybe you should take a lesson, Max. No. Oh. Hey, what are you doing? Hacking the island security. I've shut down Zeta Point's force field. As soon as you did, a dinosaur appeared. And look at that. It's blinking where there's no land. Then it's for sure Zeta Point. Let's go. Okay. I'm going too. <gasps> Sorry, but you need a dino holder to teleport with us and you don't have one. I know, but I do have one of these. Your devices draw their power from a stone, right? Well, this has a piece of it, too. As long as the teleporter recognizes that stone, teleportation is possible. Could I take a look, Rod? Here. What about me? You should stay here and help Terry get better, Laura. Okay. I don't want to hurt you. You by the tail now! No, 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 no. We're done. So is Spiny. Quit your whining and come up with a plan! How's this for a plan? Run! Impossible! I'm the king of this castle and I'm not about to run away from my own fortress! Oh, he's back! <laughs> okay, okay! What do you want? Please forgive the interruption. But as I said, I'm simply looking for the bad guy, Seth. Huh? Rod? Grandpa! Oh, there's Jonathan! I'm confused. Hey! What do you know about Jonathan? And Rod, what are you doing with these brats? Grandpa, you're in danger! Seth has been keeping things from you and plotting something behind your back all this time! Plotting? What are you talking about? Droid! 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 Oh, no, you don't! Now get back to studying! You too, Seth! I want you out of my way, Helga. Yeah, I know, but you have to study until I say you are done! Now get going! <laughs> Sending in your bullies to change my mind will not work, understand? <sighs> What's going on? And why on earth would you hurt Helga? Tell me what you did to Terry to hurt him so bad. I've been looking for you. 
You're the villain who stole the data from my memory banks! Huh? So what are you, a double agent? I can assure you it's not what you think it is. What is it then? What are you after? All I'm after is pure dinosaur science, Doctor. I don't intend to waste my time chasing hopeless pipe dreams like yours. Hopeless pipe dreams? My plans for the future are no such thing! Wanting to build a vast dinosaur kingdom and then rule it as the dinosaur king? Tell me, what could be more hopeless than that? He's got a point there. Mm-hmm. Who asked you?! Hey, Brett, don't forget you're the enemies of everyone else here! The only reason we're here is to help the dinosaurs! And that means our real enemy is anybody who wants to do things that are gonna hurt them! <laughs> As usual, you're completely wrong. My goal with these experiments is to bring about the ultimate dinosaur evolution, so it would do me no good to harm them. That's what you say, but what gives you the right to force any animal to evolve? And who are you to decide what's good? You ought to be locked up! What nerve! You've been conducting experiments behind my back when I would have been happy to help you if you'd just come to me from the beginning! Doctor, let's be honest here. Your specialty is stealing other scientists' hard work. If I had told you what I was working on, I would have ended up just like Dr. Ancient. <laughs> that name sounds familiar. That's what Jonathan called Rex? Dr. Ancient. <gasps> it appears as though you're finished talking, so I would like to get what I came here for. I am now going to retrieve the data this villain stole from me. Oh, no you don't! Not until I'm done with the backstabber! Alpha Slash! Dush out, Spinosaurus! Yeah, me too! Alpha Slash! Shake him up, Cytania! Now, Tank and Spiny, show Seth what we do to traitors! Come on! Surely you don't think I'm defenseless here? Sorophaganax! Heh, <laughs> Spiny and Tank, go crush him now! As usual, you're in over your head, Dr. Z. Observe a new super move I just perfected. A super move that I don't know about? I forced Sorophaganax into premature evolution so that he could master this move. Behold, Fire Scorcher! I've got Tank! I've got Spiny! This isn't over, Seth! Grandpa! You ready, guys? All three of us together! Right! Go! Dino Slash! Go, Triceratops! Roar! Carnotaurus, blow them away! Bring up, Parasaurolophus! All together now! Good luck! Now feel Fire Scorcher! Jonathan will protect you, Master. Master? Where are you taking him? Max, look out! Come on, come on! So where do you think Rex went? Jonathan was carrying him. I hope they made it out okay. There they are! They're both fine! So let's teleport back to the D-Lab and meet him there! Mm -hmm. ah! The island's lifting up! Ah! Let's get off before it's too late, Max! Yeah! I can't believe it! That whole island has turned into some kind of spacecraft! We 
we've already collected 31 different types of dinosaur cards. And don't worry, we're gonna get a hold of the rest of the cards that the Alpha Gang has too. You can bet on that!